you've got Game Face, and this is the Jimi Hendrix case. Um, this is a uh, little indie game off uh, Game Jolt. Well, there's no save games. Um, new game, and I'm just checking it out. Oh, there's a dead guy. Looks like Jimi Hendrix. Um, in this game, everybody is Jimi Hendrix. What kind of sick, twisted freak would do this? Oh, here comes Jimmy. You're finally here, Jimmy. So, who's our Jimi Hendrix? Male, probably 28 years old. What a way to go, eh? Any leads on his identity? Not yet. Ask around, would you? This is, uh... I don't know who this is. It says Hendrix. Um... Okay, so I just said the body. I don't know. He could be anyone, really. You know, not trying to be racist. I know, ma'am. Well, if you had something of his, it might help. What do you mean, if I had something of his? Is there something on the body? Nope. Blood splatter. We can give her some blood splatter. Nope. Electrical box. Shouldn't mess with the crime scene too much. Okay. Man, you don't see this kind of thing every day. No? Maybe. No, no, I don't. I don't see this any kind of day. Um, Jimmy was the one who found the Vic. He's upending his guts over by the dumpster. Dumpster. It's Jimmy. How's Jimmy doing? Ah, uh, puke. <laughs> Jimmy, you're finally here. Yeah, I was the one who found him. Well, the lady of the night out there found him. She wasn't expecting this. We need to get we need to her to give us an ID, but she's too scared to come down here. Okay, so she wanted what's this? Oh, there's a trail of blood. Come on. Oh, I don't even know what it said. Uh, sorry, I was clicking too much. But it said something. Might be good to muffle the sound, but I don't need to do that right now. Okay. Um. Maybe that's the guy. Okay, I think uh, that might be the the thing of Hitch the, that the um, lady of the night, as the other guy called her. Yeah, scarf. Okay. Oh, that's Jimmy's scarf. Jimmy Hendrix. He lives in, up in apartment 17, across the pond, you know. Nice guy. Was part of the band, I think. The pond? Yeah, the pond. This alley between the building floor floods all the time. We call it the pond. Um, do you think I could keep this? Jimmy was a good guy. I'd like to pass it on to his girl. You know, protocol says you can't. Protocol could take a clammy, f take its clammy fish lips and kiss my behind. Thanks. I know she'd appreciate it. Oh, there's something shiny. Something shiny. Scales. Something about this case, case smells fishy. Really fishy. Whoa. Okay, I guess I'm in a car. Let's review the case so far. Who is the victim? Jimi Hendrix. Yep, Jimi Hendrix, 28 years old. Hell of a way to go. Killed in the alley between the apartment buildings. What was strange about the crime scene? Um, the blood trail? That's right, the killer trailed some blood down the alleyway. Where was he going, and why? I think it was Jimmy. Um, scales were weird. Yeah, fish scales. What were they doing, having a disagreement over fish and chip night? Too strange. I'll have to hold on to these. You know, this case reminds me of an old case killer who used to slice up the head of anybody who got in his way. At the center of it was a drug operation. You could say he didn't like competition. Half of his victims were dealers. He was always a step ahead. Everything was packed up before we got there and the trail would turn cold. We never did find out who it was. Must have been someone influential. Influential. Influential? Everybody suspected Jimi Hendrix, but we could never pin it on him. But it's strange, there hasn't been a murder like this in years. 
Maybe someone decided it was time to open up old wounds. I guess that means it's time to open up old case files too. And that body's probably over at the morgue by now. Something tells me I should stop by and take a closer look at it. It's just a bunch of jimmies. Jimmy, you look like hell. How long has it been since you got a decent night's sleep? Any messages for me? Just your mother worried sick about you again. You should call her sometime, Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy. You're starting to sound like a broken record. I almost wish I could use the arrow keys to move instead of clicking. Hey, Jimmy. Police Fist Jimmy wants to see you. Does he want to grill me over how I handled, handled the last case again? You know how he is. Impersonates the chief. Give me ten minutes with this guy and I'll have him singing the blues for me. Okay. I'm gonna go see the chief. It's Jimmy. Jimmy, you piece of jetsam, get in here. Yeah, yeah, what is it this time? You flounder on this case like the last one and you'll be all washed up in this precinct. Just like the last time you said this. I don't need you flaking out. This case is already circling down the drain. Blood's in the water, Jimmy. And the DEA is circling us like sharks. It ain't gonna fry for you for it ain't gonna fry for your mistakes anymore. I can't even read. Um, anything else, boss? Get your pedestrian self out there. We're on a thin ice as it is, and it's ice fishing season if you get my drift. I don't. Get out! Yeah, I get that part. Okay. Oh, got pretty to heat in there with the chief, but I think I got your point across. We can't work all the time, Jimmy. Sometimes you gotta take a break. Something about a Rubik's Cube. Good work on the last case, Jimmy. Boss doesn't think so. That's the boss for you. A sting operation that, that big's bound to have casualties. Whoa. <laughs> Don't beat yourself up over it. You did good. Thanks. Morgue. Okay, the morgue's down here. Gotta go to the morgue. Enter the four digits. Nothing happens. Morgue code. You know that's the first the first two digits are different. I just know that the first two digits are different. Okay. First two digits are not the same. Oh, the morgue. Can't say I remember much, Jimmy. Um one number was double. That's for sure. So there is the first two numbers were not repeated and one was doubled. The morgue smells like a wet dog. I try never to go down there. I think it started with a three, you know. So the first number's a three. Three something. Oh, gross. No. I wouldn't know at all. Hell, I never go down there. It's creepy as hell. Definitely ended with a 48. Can't help you beyond that, Jimmy. Three eight four eight. No, the first two digits are different. Three eight four eight. No, three four four eight. There we go. Got it. Would you put that out, Jimmy? Sure, Jimmy. Couldn't look much worse, especially now that he has his insides rearranged. Can you tell me more about the body? Well, what you... <laughs> what do you want to know? 
strain on the heart. Aqueous upsets in the pH level of the blood probably made his heart beat so hard that he drained faster than a broken aquarium. Puncture from the needles. Habitual drug user. This guy had enough aqueous in him to kill a horse. I guess aqueous is a drug. Um, new street drug. Good grief. The neck. Okay, someone's someone's best yet failed attempt at decapitation. Oh, he did try to decapitate him. Jimmy, if you find anything at the crime scene we missed, let me know. It's the same thing we're seeing across the city. People turning up dead and no clear connection other than this fish thing. Okay, so this isn't just a, a one-off thing. I suggest you talk to Jimmy down at the fish market. Oh, and Jimmy, watch it. He's the slippery type. Okay, I need to go to the fish market. We're gonna go see the fishmonger. The fish market with us. That's not Jimmy. What are you after, Jimmy? Scales. Ooh, that's a very particular type of fish, Jimmy. Hey, we ain't sold none of those in a while. Are you lying to me, Jimmy? I know when people are lying to me. Ah, uh, you know, I, I don't got such a good memory, Jimmy. The memory of a goldfish, you slob. Now listen to me. You got people dying out of here. You better start remembering, and you better start remembering real fast. He ain't seen nothing. Leave him alone. Like you said, I ain't seen nothing. You want me to leave him alone? I'll leave him alone. Got him like a fish, boys. Um, what am I supposed to do? And it pop up right here. Okay, come on. Hey, <laughs> here's my Far Cry skills coming in to help. Coming in to help me. Sorry, Jimmy. He told me you're going to change the world. I brought it uh, into it, hook, line, and sinker. Before I knew it, I was in too deep. Jimmy, I never meant for these to come. To, this to come. Th <sighs> I never meant for things to come to this. That slippery trawler man did know something after all. There's a folded piece of paper in his pocket. It's an address. J. Hendricks, and it's the bad part of town. 1432 Backwater Alley. That's across the pond. I'll hang on to this. He's not talking. Okay, nobody's talking. Nope. Oh. Great. It's full of fish. Hmm, these fish look familiar somehow. It's full of fish. These fish look familiar somehow. Okay, so everything's filled with fish that look familiar. He's not talking. None of them are talking. Now that the fishmonger's not out of stall, I can get a closer look at these books. So many entries for fish flakes. They're manufacturing aqueous in large quantities, and these crates are full of the raw materials. This is sickening. Okay. Car. So I think we got everything here. Now I gotta go to that, um, go to that uh, apartment. Let's review the case to see what we've learned about it. Why did the fishmonger run? Um, 
Suspicious records? Yeah, his records were really suspicious. Orders for cheesecloth, conical flasks, and rubber tubes, the sort of thing you need to make large quantities of aqueous. What else is unusual about the fishmonger shipments? Scales matched, right? The scales were a perfect match. So a suspicious set of fish scales found in a scarf that belonged to the victim. The exact same type of scales Jimmy down at the fish market supplies. And where does all this lead? Backwater Alley. The address of the fishmonger was carrying. That's the same place the body was found. That wasn't some innocent victim on the alley. He was an addict, maybe a dealer, and his murder was probably a, a deal that went sour. If the fish market's the supply chain, then Backwater Alley is the head office. It's time to pay who, a visit to whoever's in that apartment. I bet you it's Jimmy. Oh, what's going on here? Alley's closed. Listen, I don't have time for this. You're interfering with important police investigation. I'm a cop. Yeah, prove it. Police. So you are. Well, I think we brought enough time. The alley's not closed anymore, detective. It's open season, and they're, they're, these are restricted waters. What? What? Jeez, what's with all the shooting? What, what, g g g g gun! Just stand up, motherfucker. I'm gonna shoot you in the head. Well, that wasn't very good. Now we're going in the door. The door works now. Okay, and I'm looking for apartment 17. This must be apartment 17. Oh, it's... It's Fishhead. Oh, it's Jimmy. Was you, Jimmy. I knew it. Oh, who's this? Very interesting. It seems it may not be the, the end of the story, and we're going to have to wait for season two for the answers. Until then, I'm Game Face. This was the Jimi Hendrix case. If you liked it, click the button, and don't forget to subscribe. I'd like to thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.